Let's go over the three different types of passive transport using this animation. Passive transport is the movement of molecules from areas of high to low concentration. And this is usually done without the input of energy. And the three different types are diffusion, osmosis, and facilitated diffusion. If we take a look at diffusion, you can see these molecules crossing the membrane from areas of high to low concentration. Typically, these molecules that pass a membrane are small and hydrophobic, which means they're nonpolar. Osmosis is specifically the movement of water molecules. This again occurs from areas of high to low concentration. However, in this case, the solute molecules won't pass this membrane. So as you can see, the water molecules up here travel to inside the cell because of osmosis. And lastly, we have facilitated diffusion. This is the movement of molecules into or out of a cell using a membrane protein. You can see these large blue structures here allowing molecules into the cell. And typically this is from high to low concentrations. So the main difference here with facilitated diffusion is it's happening through these membrane proteins. This membrane protein is called a carrier protein while this is called a channel protein. However, both proteins allow molecules into or out of the cell.